So last night, I was, or not last night, yesterday morning, I was watching a little bit of Bluey with my kids. And there was a great episode on. It featured a contest. I wonder if you know the episode. And in the contest, there's two teams and you can't be in the middle. You need to have, you need to be in one team or the other team. It was, one was the Maroons and one was the Blues. I wonder if you know the episode. They have to pick which team they're going to go for. You can't be in the middle. You can't be in the middle. You have to pick one team or the other. And it got me thinking that there are other things in life where you kind of can't be in the middle. You can't be a fence sitter. You have to either be on one team or the other. So I was thinking, there are people who are Toyota people and there are people who are Ford people. And you can't really be both. You kind of have to be one or the other. I'm not going to say which is better. I drive neither. Or maybe this one. John Deere or the red one. So you, you kind of, you, you're one or the other. You don't really have a John Deere tractor and a red thing that picks things. As you can see, agriculture is not my forte. And so maybe even where you live will be a thing. You're either from Narrabri or you're from Wee Wee You kind of can't be one and, and both at the same time. You're one of them or you're the other one. So that you can't be both a Blues supporter and a Maroon supporter, can you? You can't be a fence sitter. You can't be this and that at the same time. And in chapter 12 and 13 and 14 in Revelation, we're going to see more and more how you can't really be a fence sitter with God. You either need to be with God and to be covered in the blood of the Lamb, which is a very interesting thought, or you're not with God and under his judgment. You kind of you can't be in the middle. You need to either be with God, and if you're not with God, then you're against God. Just like Toyota and Ford, John Deere and the red one. It's, it starts with C case or something. Or we wore a narrow bri, you're one or the other. You're with God or you're not with God. And we're going to look at that more and more. And on the kid sheet, there is an area for you to draw a picture of the cosmic battle against those who are with God and those who are against God. So I'm going to leave it there. We're going to listen to Bernard unpack that more and more about what it means to be with God and what it means for those who aren't with God. Let me pray, and then we'll get our sheets. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you that in it we can clearly see how we can be friends with you, that we can be your friends because Jesus lived, died, and rose again for us. Thank you for him. Amen.